Today we're going to take a look at the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2019 Hyundai Tucson vehicles. And on a custom fit part like this, I'd like to recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show if this will work for your application. Now this provides this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer's signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. And this connects quickly and easily. Basically, you just locate your connection points, which will be behind the tail lights on your vehicle. Plug in these T connectors, one on each side, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. And then you'll have your white wire here. You just ground this to a good clean ground. And then this black wire is your power wire. That'll run to your vehicle's battery. Now this harness does include this modulite, this black box here. This is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. It is a powered module, so it does connect directly to the battery. And that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. The wire that runs out the back that the four-way is attached to, it's constructed of a 16-gauge bonded wire. And if you notice, it does come with this integrated dust cover that when you're not plugged into your trailer, you can put that cover on the four-way to protect it from damage or from the elements. A few specs on this harness. The maximum amperage for the stop and turn light circuits is 5 amps per circuit. For the tail lights is 7.5 amps per circuit. And it does come with everything laid out here on the table. I'm going to go through all these parts briefly, how you would install them. It does even come with a nice set of detailed instructions that'll describe how they install with pictures. But basically what you'll do is go to the rear of your vehicle, gain access to behind your tail lights, and you'll take these two T connectors. The T connect with the yellow wires for the driver's side. Plug this in after you unplug your harness from the tail lights. Plug this in between. And then you'll take your other one that has a length of wire, the green wire, that's for the passenger side. Run this over to the passenger side and do the same plug in behind the tail lights. Once those are all plugged in, your uh, modulite box here, you do want to attach that to a good flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. Has a little tab with a hole in it you can put a screw through, or they do include a piece of double face tape you can use to attach it down. Take this white wire, it has an eyelet on it, attach that to a good clean ground if there's one nearby. If not, just take this grounding screw and make your own ground. And then you'll have this remaining black wire, which is your power wire that needs to run to the front of the vehicle to the vehicle's battery. So they do give you this extra length of wire and some connectors. So you'll take one of the butt connectors, install it, and then install one end of this wire to it, and then run this length of wire up to the front of the vehicle. Now when you get to the front where the battery is, you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. You want to run it through this inline fuse holder. So take your other butt connector, connect it to one side of the fuse holder just like that. And once that's connected, the other side, you'll take this eyelet connector and connect it, and that'll connect to the vehicle's battery. Once it's all connected, pop open the fuse holder, take the included 15 amp fuse, install it into your fuse holder. Get it to line up. There you go. And once you get it fuse installed, close it up, and your system's all ready to go. If you notice, they do include a bunch of the cable ties here to take up any slack in the wiring. But that should do it for the review on the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector.